Now let's look at the types of hollow alkanes. Now there are three types of hollow alkanes. And the first one we're going to look at is primary hollow alkanes. Now with primary hollow alkane, the halogen is on the first carbon atom. An example of this is the example that we did previously of one chloropropane. Now as you can see here, Cl is on carbon number one and it's not on carbon number three. Because like I said, remember that we have to find it on the most convenient side for us, which in this case is the right hand side. So chloro is on the first carbon and it's one chloropropane, which is an example of a primary haloalkane. And another example, as you can see here, we have a haloalkane, a carbon number one, which is Br. And now we have to start on the left hand side because it's easier for us to find the substituent. So Br is on the first carbon yes even though there's a branch br is still on the first carbon and let's not forget the alphabetical order when writing down where we're gonna say one for first carbon hyphen bromo and then hyphen on the third carbon we get methyl on a butane structure remember but represents four and that was another example of a primary haloalkane now let's look at secondary haloalkane now how do we spot this type of haloalkane it's never on the first carbon firstly and secondly it's never on a carbon atom where a branch is attached and if it's on a carbon atom where a branch is attached it's no longer a secondary haloalkane so it could be anywhere except the first carbon or a carbon atom where a branch is attached. So we have a structure over here as a quick example. Now look at where Br is, carbon number two, and it's not on the first carbon. And our structure consists of five carbon atoms. So how will we write this down as an IUPAC name? 2-bromopentane. Now that's a fitting example of a secondary haloalkane. Now let's look at another example. Now we have a structure over here and we have F, and it's between two carbon atoms and not the first carbon, which would mean it's a secondary haloalkane. So our IUPAC name will look like this, 2-fluoro-4-methylpentane. Now let's move on to the tertiary haloalkane. And over here, the halogen is on the same carbon as the branch. And like I've stated here below, the halogen is attached on the same carbon to which a branch is attached. And that's how we identify the tertiary haloalkane. Now let's move to a quick example. And over here, carbon number two has a methyl branch as well as bromine, which is our type of halogen. So when we write it down, our IUPAC name, it will be 2-bromo, 2-methyl-butane. And that was just a quick example of a tertiary haloalkane.